everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back to XCOM 2. Uh, we've got a council mission. This is Operation Death Strike, where we're trying to extract a VIP. Uh, the VIP is the former Emperor of Nilfgaard, Emir Emrys, who has turned engineer. Uh, I guess that's the natural kind of retirement path for Emperors of Nilfgaard. But anyways, um, difficult mission. We're going to bring out some of our stronger guys. And uh, we've got a Mimic Beacon right now, we've got a Smoke Grenade, and we've got a Flashbang, so... I think we've got a lot of options that could help us. And then we're still making our way towards the, uh... The Black Site. Sky Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. Recon picked up a weak distress signal coming from this area. The Resistance confirmed it's one of their codes, so we're moving in to provide an emergency extraction. We'll need to secure the area and escort the VIP to the evac point. Stay alert for hostile contacts. Okay, we're in San Francisco here, which is actually the first place I played XCOM 2, so that's pretty cool. Top secret operation, of course. Nobody can know that we're rescuing the previous Emperor of Nilfgaard, but... We'll try and keep it to ourselves. All right. Menace 1-5, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Okay, so the nice thing is we've got a couple of rangers. Already knows we're here. Yeah, there so we go. Your position isn't concealed for the extraction. So we can kind of, although we don't have concealment totally, we can take some peaks, let's just say. Let's start, let's bring Aeneas right up top and see if we can't... Yeah, nothing. Okay. Let's move him down to the edge here. Alright, everything looks clear. I'm going to bring L. Frank, maybe not all the way in there, just in case there's enemies in here and we were flanked. I don't know, I could say the same thing about this location, but I guess if we, if they're going to be right here, we'd see them, and we'd probably see them all the way down there too, so. Let's, uh, let's run up go. with L. Frank. No eyes anywhere? What? Alright, let's bring these guys up. Good to go. Bring as many people up to the roof as we can. Good to go. And Emperor. <laughs> Which I think is spelled wrong. Uh, well, you're still going to be with us. Let's see. Can we get you... I want to see inside. Here. Hide over here for now. And then Cannibal, come on up. Oh, hello. That's going to be a problem, isn't it? They're going to scout us for sure. Yep. All right. Our resistance contacts Look at that. Rumors Advent might be rolling out a heavy infantry armor system. Looks pretty tough. The rumors are true. The rumors are true. All right. Cannibal, this one's all you, man. It's got your name written all over it. Was ist da Seven to eight damage. I like those odds. I'm hoping we just blow up the car completely and just kill these guys outright. Yeah, there's the car. There they go. Now this guy, he's, I believe that was a shield bearer. Which, uh, can cause some other problems. <laughs> But basically, he can grant everybody uh, a shield, and it's not good. It's 
really not good. We've got suppression with him, which I'm really tempted to use. I'm gonna bring Loxley in here. And then I think I'll bring Looch over as well. Moving to designated position. Now he's got the rapid fire, which is nice. It's not gonna help us in this scenario because it's gonna drop us to like a pretty low percentage. But actually, I think 154 or 239s, I actually think our statistical chance is higher if we take these two shots on rapid fire. Um, let's go for it. And it's got no cooldown either, so we're gonna need to... Oh, hell yeah. We're gonna need to, uh, get him an expanded magazine or free reloads or something. Alright, let's take lightning hands here, and then we can take another pistol shot. Not bad. Shit, one damage. One damage. Like, yeah, we could we could do this. But I feel like we're actually just better off suppressing him. Stay put. And then we can kinda continue to just scout. Let's take a look up top. We have a couple civilians over here to worry about. We eventually want to get up there, so... We do have, uh, an access point to the roof. Let's go ahead and grab this. And you know what? I'll tuck him inside here. Let's just stay a lot safer. I mean, I could reconceal. I just, I feel like maybe this is a bit greedy. Rolling. But uh, I'm not gonna take the shot. I'm gonna hope that the suppression does enough. Yes, he'll be able to mark and he'll probably shoot as well, but... Oh, he just went for the shot. Wow, okay. I don't know why he wouldn't mark first, but... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue with him. Okay, do we wanna try and get like a little bit closer? Moving out. Let's go for it, Looch. Okay, 250s, come on. So much for that idea. We could use a sniper. Yeah, chances are better. Let's go. There it is. Now, that's death from above as well, which means we can still move her up and she can be in position for the next turn. So that's pretty helpful. And seeing as we don't have any enemies revealed over here, this should be a pretty safe move. All right, I'll go. Okay, now we're gonna navigate these friggin' civilian waters here pretty carefully. We could get up top there, but... 
I'm thinking... Well, we could get revealed over there, too. Moving. Let's go. One move at a time. It's not a race. As much as I would like it to be. Heading there, Nye. Okay, and then... If I move him over here, we have no way of getting through, so I kind of want to bring him back around this way. I guess that's good, too. But then I worry that if somebody's in there and they have vision of this spot, which has been burning me a few times, that that's not a great idea, either. Let's just go here for now. And then we can bring everybody go, go, else go. in. Thing is, I don't want the Emperor to scatter these civilians. So that's something we have to think about a little bit here. Let's just tuck him in the corner for now. Yeah, Hannibal, let's move up. Uh, having six soldiers is like real nice. Plus an engineer that we can bait with. Oh, shit. Stay up there. Just stay up there. Well... Okay. And they're camping the friggin' extraction zone, I see. That's dirty. Okay. So, I mean, we're actually in a pretty good spot here. We can knock these two down. That's gonna piss off everybody. We, we have to do it. Oh! -ho! Where are they going? What's happening to them? Okay, they fell. Good. Now, I think what we do is we take another grenade. We'll still have one on each, and we can hit all three here. I know we're in the open, but we're going for the kills. So... What the shit? Die sind Geschichte. What happened? Oh, there we go. Sometimes when you blow up buildings and stuff, um, things get weird, to say the least. Okay, business handled. One down, thousands to go. Business is handled. Now, I really would like to get up top there. Like, I would really like that. Um, do I feel confident that we're not going to have any enemies on this side, though? Eh, not totally. I know we got a little glimpse that there are some on that side. I think we're going to play it safe. I'm on the move. We have the time, so... Moving to designated position. All right, let's get you reloaded. Rock and roll. Old timer, let's get you reloaded. Good to go. That's affirmative. I'm gonna bring the emperor out a bit. I'm hoping he doesn't scatter these civilians. Should be fine. Eyes on the prize. And we still have these two guys. Hostile interceptors are inbound on your current position. Great. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. We still have these two in concealment, which is huge. Good copy. Moving on target. Alright, there's the other three, it looks like. I 
think we should try and get vision of them. Let's bring L Frank up top. And then now I don't care about these civilians, to be honest. Let's throw the Emperor behind. Finally! Moving to position! Is this all sicher? And we could keep Loxley here, I think. Um, eight turns. Yeah, I think we're okay here. Overwatch. Come get On Overwatch. Feet to fire shots. Oh, they moved. Or that's a, that's actually a separate group. Nice shot. Hard target, minimal damage. Adjusting aim. I've been forces sighted. Oh, that civilian. It's got to be freaking out. There we go. Okay, so we got one stunny. I don't like the fact that we can't see that other group. I'm going to try and... Yeah, here we go. Look, they are just camping this friggin' zone. That's so dirty. I wonder what happens if we blow up the entire extraction zone. Because you know that's what I'm considering. Closing on target position, Noi. Oh man, that's tempting too. I don't think we're gonna kill him. I wish that this would- I wish there would be like little, um, stats that would pop up, like baseball style. Where it would say like, oh, Loxley is, you know, lifetime average shot hit of like, 95%, you know? That would just be really cool, I think. Okay, what do- what do we have here? Let's actually just check this tower, because why not? Ooh, this is really tempting, although slightly unnecessary. 50-50 um, chance to disorient, or result in any nearby enemy groups being alerted to your position. Um, so the ones on the extraction zone would come towards us, and I'm not really a huge fan of that right now. Oh, you know how we're going to kill this guy? Oh, it's going to... It's gonna piss him off so much. Let's do this first, actually. Let's uh, let's reload you, old timer. I'm ready. And then I just want you to go in little, give him a little shocky poo. There we go. No! That did it? Oh, frick, man. Okay, well... That answers that question. About how we're gonna handle this. Um, we have no choice but to just try and handle it. Let's move Andromeda in. Oh, does this knock out our soldiers up top?
Come on. It shouldn't. I don't like either of these enemies, but I think the Muton is scarier. He also has less armor to shred. But if I don't kill him, if I don't kill this guy, then we're potentially flanked in a few spots. I wonder if I can be patient enough to try and get this. I don't think I can get both. The other thing is, is I can kill this Muton with our two, um, with our two rangers here. Like, we can kill him instantly, so I'm not too worried about that. We also have the Mimic Beacon if we, if things go a little bit more haywire than we anticipate. So maybe... Here's what we do. I'm gonna bring Polo out okay, into the open. That's your job. You're the leader right now. Just own that. Here we go. This is what we do. That's the play. Holy shit. The extraction zone is limited to six slots. We found the other guy, though. But this is gonna hit them both. Hey, catch! And then... Then there was only a couple of them left. Oh, it looks like the extraction zone. Maybe it's protected. Because it did look like the floor was gone. I mean, we can outright kill these guys. And then we don't even have to use the Mimic Beacon. So I think we'll do that. Let's go with the shred over here. On the shield bearer. Not that it really matters, but. They've got eyes on you. Whew. By the numbers. I now. Oh, I was gonna say we might still have um we might still have an enemy drop in on us here. Let's send the Emperor. And I guess the fastest way is probably up here. What other ways do we have of getting up there? Well, I guess right here too, but let's keep it all to the same side. Alice Clark. No need to ask twice. Double time. Moving to position. And then we can just keep Step running. Off. We'll keep our uh, we'll keep our rangers out Absolutely. for a second. We'll send the emperor home. VIP in Sicherheit und bereit zur Evakuierung. Cargo is secure. This is Firebrand. VIP is secure. Affirmative. Got to cover. Now. Good to go. And then we're gonna we're gonna wait to extract until Tired of waiting around. it's safe. Roger that. Was ist da drüben? Let's do a reload Rock on you. Come get some. Over to Overwatch. I'm on it. Bestätigt. Überwachung läuft. 
Okay. Loxley, you're gone. Andromeda, you're gone. Old timer, you're gone. Cannibal, you're gone. Fias, gone. Infernal. Let's get the hell out of here. Evac confirmed. Getting out of here. Heading home. Evac confirmed. Let's go. Bereit zum Abmarsch. Wow. We didn't leave a lot of buildings left, but, uh... It's not my bad. <laughs> it's not my problem anymore. Oh man, that was, uh, that was good. We had, like, we did have pretty much control that entire time. Um, the scouting from our rangers was really, really helpful. The aliens are probably still wondering what hit them. Let's keep hey. it up, Commander. Luke's got a promotion. Very nice. Let's grab Haywire Protocol. There's the Emperor, baby. Welcome back. Another impressive effort, Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. Now get into the garage. Start Hello, cleaning. Commander. Just kidding. I would never treat the Emperor like that. Um, let's ask him politely to go in here. Um, I think we still have one soldier who's in the med bay. Tygen seems to have a habit of scratching that scar on the back of his head. Yeah, three days. I wonder if anyone made sure his chip was actually removed. Resistance comms is coming in one day. That'll free up another engineer. Yeah, we have a supply drop, sure, but I, I cannot go for that right now. Um, we're gonna finish Avenger Power. And then we're going to make contact. Plotting new course. That's the plan. That's the only plan. We also have our regular supply drop. Resistance communications facility now hey operational. Very nice. Now we can staff engineers at the resistance communications um, to expand our contacts as well. So if we go here. Uh, we could put Sniper Wolf in, which gives us plus two. Um, we don't need to do that right now because we're not even maxed out. Uh, but that's how you would expand that without just building more comms. Uh, so what we're going to do with him is throw him in here, Sniper Wolf. Or her, I should say. My bad. HR is going to be calling right away. Um, I wish it would show you when your soldiers came back in the event queue. I think that would be really helpful. One day. All right. These findings will likely prove nice. crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Okay, so Predator armor is available. Uh, Illyrium can be researched. We can also go for exosuits and spider suits in the proving grounds. Uh, spider suits are cool. You have like the grapple. Um, exosuits are kind of like. I don't want to say they're the new mech, but they're like a mech variant, right? Um, the heavy variant of our plated armor gives you uh, the ability to mount a weapon and gives you an armor point. Uh, sexoid autopsy is now instant. This is great because that'll give us access to psionics. Though I was never witness to one myself. Countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. And with Illyrium, the other thing that we unlocked the there... ...rapid physical evolution over the past 20 years is a testament to both the aliens' mastery of genetic engineering and their pursuit of advancement, regardless of the risks. Uh, the Illyrium will unlock more advanced uh, weapon and armor, so it's... Pretty, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, we don't have enough crystals, obviously, and we don't even need them right now. Uh, so it's nothing to be totally crazy about. 
Um, the turret would give us defense matrix, but I don't need. The viper autopsy, I mean, it's not bad. It improves our med kits quite a bit. Um, the advent mech, I think, is where we want to go because that's going to give us um, the gremlin mark II and I believe it's blue screen protocol. Berserkers give us like a stim pack kind of thing, which is really interesting. And then uh, we'll do these other ones in a bit. So I think let's go for the these mech. These robotic units developed by Advent seem to be wholly autonomous, capable of targeting and engaging selected units without reliance on external verification. Although it falls on me to work through the initial disassembly, I fully intend on involving Shen in this process. As yeah, her seriously. knowledge of robotics far outweighs my own. I actually like when people say that, like they're not so high and mighty that they can't, the you know, accept help from other people. Resources at their disposal, but we've still managed to do reasonably well against them, despite our own limitations. New orders, Commander. Um, no orders just yet. Let's keep excavating where we can. Um, yeah, I think we're good. We're a little broke. Okay, Avenger Power plus three. Now, um, this is cutting it really close, but if I wanted to, I have enough days and time to get our supply drop and make contact Avenger here. Plotting new course. So, we're really squeezing it down to the wire, but... Okay, Gorilla Ops. <laughs> I've been saying that we're going to that friggin' black site for so long now, but it's like, uh, things are happening, man. And actually, it's- we're getting a lot done in a short period of time, and our soldiers are getting pretty strong, so I'm pretty happy with this, actually. Now, let's see here. Hidden faceless aliens on each mission is bad, don't get me wrong. Um, but we need supplies because we're gonna start building some advanced stuff soon and we're gonna need to build extra facilities and all that. So we're actually gonna go to Mexico and uh, whatever this event is, great, counter it. Um, I can deal with a faceless alien or two, that's fine. Um, I need money, so we're gonna go here. Setting course for the Mexican regional tract. Alright, so, uh, destroy the alien relay. Let's see. So he's back, and he's gonna grab the medkits now. I think we take out Loxley, Cannibal, Andromeda, that's all cool with me. Let's go ahead and bring out Nora Wild. It's been a long time, Nora. I know. I know. But, uh, I'm very happy to have you. Yeah, I think we'll do this. So we have a Grenadier, a Sharpshooter, another Grenadier, a Ranger, um, Skinner, and um, Nora Wild. But you know what? Instead of Pius here, let's bring out... Let's bring out Elf Rank because of the Shredder. And uh, with all of these... Because of the dark event where some of the advent have extra armor, um, I think he could be a little bit more beneficial right now. Um, plus, I mean, a promotion on him wouldn't hurt, right? I don't think it would. All right, so we're gonna take out Andromeda, Loxley, Polo, L. Frank, Skinner, and Wild. Wish me luck, guys. See you soon. Bye. you once knew is no more. Earth is now ruled by the Advent Coalition and their alien masters. 